Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Enderal. Now, when we left off, we had entered the temple itself with uh, Jespar, and he had told a small lie <laughs> that we are apparently the owner of a perfumery of some sort. Oh yes, it was very amusing. Anyway, so we are going to be heading on in with Jespar. As you can see, he's actually running in over there. And yes, I've paused it, obviously, to do my intro and everything. But yes, we are now going to be heading on in and speaking to his employer. Yes, that's what she looks like at least. If, if he will actually enter. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going into the Chronicum. Okay, the Chronicum. I'm a little bit wary about this. I'm I'm actually going to try and ask as many questions as possible so that we can uncover as much knowledge as possible and, well, maybe gain a little bit of experience along the way and maybe some insight as to what kind ground. of magic we can use here. Yes, I know. I'm... What? I've been invited. Thank this you very much. Holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. No, come on. I do. All right, here we are. I do belong here. Hmm. Hang on. Kind of. No, no, no. That's <laughs> not yeah, how you do easy. it. Blast it. I'm just being careful. We like have to. We do. Give me that thing. Now. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Blasted. Blazes. Blazes. <sighs> That's what you get for working with fumblers. I told you, we <laughs> should be careful. What? Now who the heck are you? Can't an old man have a moment to himself? Um, you hired me. The Magister, don't you remember? Oh, right. Joseph the Scrounger. So why are you here? Had any luck? Just spar. And yeah, we did find something. I... Suggest you first of all tell me when I allowed you to drag your drinking mates up here. Do you need me to explain the meaning of the words highly and confidential to you? I'm sure there's a lot you can explain to me, but let's save that for later. This particular fellow over here needs your help, to be frank. Arcane fever. Is that so? And what exactly has that got to do with me? Let the Keepers and their holy rituals take care of it. What is it with the costume, anyway? This man's magic is different, my sir. Just feel his aura and you'll see it. Plus, he's from Nera, just as you are. Uh, well, all right then, for nostalgia's sake. I really hope you're not wasting my time, though. Working with these religious buffoons is bound to make any rational thinking person go bonkers. Anyway, that chair over there. Take a seat, and I'll have a look at that fever of yours. All right, then. This will tickle a little. Hmm. Now you're right. This aura does feel different. Complex somehow, and... Hmm, powerful. And do you really want to tell me you've only recently discovered that talent of yours? With that aura, I'm surprised that you haven't turned into an Obaya by now. Hmm. Fine, fine. I, I, well, that is, we will help you. But first, tell me everything. How you got that magic, and how you met that scrounger. Hmm, I see. Regarding this vision thing, I think that your mind simply played a trick on you there. Not that it's much of a surprise, considering what you've been through. Actually, you were quite lucky that the sudden outburst of your glance didn't blow your head right off. Ooh, okay, so that is quite an impressive introduction to Constantine Firespark. So let's have a look here. Knowledge, sudden outburst of my glance? What's a glance? Oh, by all that's holy, I won't start playing your tutor now. If you don't know about the basic functioning of magic, then read something from Balador Goldenstein. He The glance on the sea of eventualities. Alongside, but apart from the reality we're in right now, exist countless other realities, in which some events have different outcomes, so to speak. A version of this very same room, for example, with the very same people in it, only that Meister Firespark's beard is on fire. And what defines an arcanist, someone capable of magic, 
is that he or she can see those other realities and let parts of them come true. Well, look at that, Jasper. You surprise me. That's what I'm being paid for. How powerful an arcanist is depends on three factors. How far away are the eventualities that he can see, how well he can bring parts of them into our reality, and finally, how well his mind can handle seeing other realities simultaneously with ours. Lighting a candle is easier than calling a meteor from the sky to speak plain in Al, but as I said, read Goldenstein if you're interested in the topic. I'm not going to waste any time with lectures. Well, thank you. I Maybe I'll be able to pick up a couple of books here. Who knows? Okay, and this chapel on the water? Every time I touch one of those stones, I feel as if, I don't know, if something comes back to me. Well, that's probably a sign that you should go easier on the booze. Skill, whether of physical or magical nature, isn't gained through touching some stones, but through hard work and discipline. Even though this screwball Endrelayan talk of paths and predeterminations tries to tell us otherwise. Hmm, okay, well, thank you. And our last option is, again, I did not just imagine these visions. They felt different somehow. Real. Ah, uh, well, if that's what you want to believe, go for it. I, in any case, have never come across such a phenomenon in over 50 years of studying magic. And now we should... It all begins with the dreams. What the? Blasted, blistering blazes! Does this room look like the bosom of a whore to you? Or what makes you think you can go around touching anything you get your fingers on? These documents are confidential for heck's sake. I knew it was a mistake to hire a thug like you. Lashery always had a weakness for- Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember you telling me something about dreams that led you and Teal or Renthiel here, didn't you, my sir? And you told me that in this vision of yours, the Veiled Woman said this. It all begins with the dreams. What? Is that true? Uh, well, yes, it is. It is, actually. Oh. Then, this near-death experience you had before you woke up on the shore. Tell me again, what exactly did you see in it? A room? A glistening white light and charred bodies, but their flesh was unnatural, grey. And I heard all these voices. Yes, we did. We did. Hmm. Well, this... this is strange, indeed. Anyway, for now all that matters is that we get that magic of yours under control. Whatever you clairvoyanced back there is of no use to us if you're dead as a doornail in a couple of months. Well, how can we, how can we, and how can we do that? Get my magic under control? Well, that's usually a plodding process. The fever you feel is a result of your mind not being able to handle all of these possibilities, so to speak. The ritual the Endraleans practice to get the glance under control is called the journey to the water. Put frankly, it means one year of hour-long meditation, bland food, and abstinence from anything that makes life worth living. In due time, the Arcanist then learns to filter these other realities from ours, and the fever gets less and less. Anyhow, luckily enough, we Neremese know of a way to quicken that process. A shortcut, if you will. I'm not capable of performing it, but another one of us is. Her name is Lashery, and you should seek her out as soon as possible. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, well, uh, yes, I, I, I like a shortcut. Why not? A shortcut is, isn't there a reason that this journey to the water is as lengthy as it is? There is indeed, and this reason is called ignorance. The Order's rituals haven't changed since the Lightborn slipped out of their cradles, and the Keepers do their best to keep anything progressive out of their country. But please, if you're up for a year of austerity and stern-faced Magisters scolding you, go for it. I really don't care. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm not particularly wanting to do that. I, I don't particularly want to wait a whole year for that, but okay, well. All right, then, I'll do this ritual of yours. Where can I find this Lashiri? 
She's currently in a ruin called Old Rationgrad, not far from Ark. Just tell her that I sent you. Ah, give me that map of yours. Okay, now you'd have to be a total idiot to miss it. I recommend leaving for the ruin straight away. And you, Joseph, you're going to come with me and show me what your trip to the Sun Coast brought forth. Hopefully, more than a bottle of honey wine and a hangover. Quite a character, isn't he? But I like him somehow. Here, I owe you this for your help back in Riverville. Uh, and in case you're in the mood for a mug of ale and a good chat, just drop by the Dancing Nomad in the Stranger's Quarter. I'll get myself a room there for the time being. With all that said, good luck mastering your magic, my friend. I'll see you around. Thank you. Wow, that was really no that was actually really nice of him. Okay, so during the main story of Enderal, you have the opportunity to deepen your bond with several persons. Caution. These missions aren't available forever. If the main story progresses too far, the storylines of some persons stay hidden. And we have many, many scrolls. We can teleport to the Sun Temple, we can teleport to Ark. Oh, it's all great and fantastic. And there's... Oh, hello there. Magister Ragon, we need to speak to you in a second. I'm actually kind of surprised that he's right here. Okay, so anyway, I am going to not steal... Oh no, there's a lot of a lot of quests being started right now, and that means that there's... Ah, okay, that's a one-star quest. Okay, that's pretty nice. I can use the Arcane Enchanter. I don't have any ingredients. Yes, I don't have any ingredients. To enchant an item, you must know an enchantment and have a field soul gem to power the enchantment. Enchantments are learned by disenchanting enchanted items, of course. So thank you, thank you for that. Okay, so shall we, shall we disenchant one of these things? I don't know, really, because... Wow, that's actually really nice. I don't want to disenchant that. <laughs> Thank you. Should I should I enchant something here? I need a soul gem, though. I don't have a fill. Oh, I do have a filled soul. I have five of them in actual fact. Oh, okay. So maybe I can... Maybe I can enchant some of these things. I, I actually quite like the robe, hilariously enough. I quite like the robe, but I think I might try to enchant this. But what is the enchantment? The enchantment it ha has to be something that I disenchant. Well, that's kind of sad. Okay, well, I'm obviously not going to be doing that right now because I don't have enough things to disenchant just yet. But I suppose we'll 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 try to do that in the future. It's probably going to be one of those things that I will forget to do. But here's the novice that we spoke to earlier, and we are definitely going to want to speak to Magister Ragon about her. So let's speak to him. Walk blessed. Yes, thank you. Elia is on her way back to the temple. She was in the graveyard mourning her sister. Uh, <clears throat> uh, of, of course, her sister. I completely forgot. Oh, Yero, you damned old fool. I... I guess I should be lenient with her. Here, I think I owe you this for your time. Now, excuse me. We have a lot to do here. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for 150 coins. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised that what? he just... What? No, no, I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. I'm sorry. Okay, well, anyway. Let's <laughs> let's head on out, shall we? Wait a minute. Let's have a look at my journal. Okay, so we can search for Jesper in the Dancing Nomad, which might actually be a good idea to go for, because this is a two-star, which isn't actually that bad. Use the Myra to travel to the Northern Heartland. Use the signpost in the Sun Temple. They are both optional objectives. And then we can, of course, meet Lashiri. Or Lashiri. Or, oh no, I'm going to be pretty bad. Oh yes, also, I did actually get this quest, which allows us to buy a house in Ark, which is actually pretty cool. And obviously I have to search for the camp there. Wow, there's Visit and Trust. Oh, yes, that's the three-star quest that is pretty pretty difficult, I suppose. And, wow, there's a lot of three-star quests. Ah, Foamville. We could actually go to Foamville. We should probably do that because Milbert was that merchant that we obviously met a long time ago. And he had a sister who was a drug addict and maybe she killed him. We don't actually know yet. So I guess we're going to find that out. And it's probably a good idea to do that. So let's head on out of here. Hello, Arcanist. Yes. Okay, so let's use the signpost. Can I use the signpost? I would like to, at least. But maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, those signposts are very, very difficult for me to find, aren't they? Mm, well, anyway, 
let's try and find that signpost and then we'll see where we can actually head to because it would be kind of nice if we could find I do know that one of you left a very oh. helpful comment so I yes. think I'm probably oh hello Joseph Jasper Jasper <laughs> that was hilarious yes I like that okay anyway novice no okay well I would like to find a signpost so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explore the Sun Temple oh there it is never mind okay come on let, get, get, get me up there come on get me up there Okay, fine, never mind. Apparently I can't jump. Apparently. So let's interact with the signpost. And... Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, that's fantastic. So we can actually just go to the Myrad Tower right now, and we could literally take a Myrad right to Foamville, I think. Or nearby, at least. Nearby. Which would actually be pretty cool. So, yeah, we already have a mark to return here, so I don't really need to place another one in the temple as such. But there we go, we used that, and we gained 100 experience for it, which is actually pretty nice. We are almost level 12, and I think, considering this episode is mostly talking, I'm going to be ending this off here. So, next time, we are going to be taking a Myrad to Foamville and trying to find what the destiny or the fate of Milbert was. And so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.